Hey guys, Ashley with Techno Buffalo here, unboxing the Sonos Play One. This is the newest, most wallet-friendly Sonos speaker yet. So uh, let's check out the box and see what's inside. Okay, so here it is, the Play One. This is the box. It's surprisingly heavy for how big the speaker is or how small it is, I should say. This is the newest a speaker in the Sonos lineup. The Play 1 joins the Play 3 and the Play 5, and also the Play Bar and the uh, Sonos Sub in their lineup of networked wireless speakers. Um, so let's check out what's inside. Uh, if you're curious about the Sonos Play 1, it actually is on sale. Cool. And this is also the most affordable Sonos speaker. So this is $199 and comes with a bridge. So first thing you see, We've got some, uh, some literature that I somehow cannot get out of this pouch. There we go. All right, so we've got some uh, product info, and a little user guide, wireless hi-fi. It's a Play 3, all oh, the Play 5, they're just gonna show off all their other products in here, which is great. Um, as a user of the Play Bar, in our review, we really, really enjoyed the Play Bar, and um, a lot of good products Sonos has going on, but it's always been real difficult uh, for people to get into Sonos because of the price point. It's, you know, it can get really expensive. So we uh, are really excited to see this 199 speaker that comes with a bridge. All right, oof, looks like we have the white version and what else is in here? I'll get to this in a second. Some more cardboard and here we go. We've got a couple of cables, We've got your networking cable if you need it, and also your power cable. Looks like a nice little 90 degree power cable here. All right, so here it is. Uh, here's the bag it comes in. Let's get this opened up and see what she looks like. So one of the nice things about the Play One is it's really beautifully machined. Um, I really like this aluminum. There's no seaming. This is really, really cool. Uh, if you want to mount it, you can. Really nice. Uh, definitely the smallest of all the Sonos speakers. Uh, on top, you have some quick play options here. So now instead of, uh, instead of having a bridge uh, here, you're actually able to pause and play from here, which is kind of cool. Uh, you just walk up, you hit play, and whatever was playing before uh, on your Sonos system, you can play in a particular room and then stop it as you leave. So here is everything. Uh, looks really similar to what we saw in the FCC filing last month. Uh, obviously the plug, this is kind of a nice design decision for them. They decided to go ahead and make this go in flush, which is pretty good. And then voila, you don't have to worry about weird cables or anything like that, uh, making it uneven when you set it down. So here it is. This is what it looks like. It's very beautiful. We're going to be putting it through its paces. We've got a play bar ready to set this up too. You can uh, use these as stereo. So if you buy two of them, you can set them up uh, as a stereo system with either a play bar or by themselves or with a sub. Uh, one of our favorite things about Sonos products is you're actually able to sort of modularly add and subtract them from your audio setup. So uh, we will be putting this thing through its paces. Leave your questions in the comments. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want more from Techno Buffalo and our channel. And I'm Ashley Skethem. We'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. What's up everyone, John here. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, I certainly hope you did. Click on the subscribe button right under me in my pants region to get tons more tech videos from Techno Buffalo. We've got awesome unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of in the tech world right here on the channel. Join the herd today. If you wanna check out some more content, just click right over this way to see some other recent videos. See you guys next time.